MMOs are the most commonly searched game type, and mobile gaming is the biggest gaming platform in the world. 2024 has some really exciting games coming out, some of which few people know about. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the top 10 mobile MMOs of 2024. Back when I was a kid, MMOs didn't exist. It's true, I'm really old. In fact, for those of you who don't know, I'm from the 1900s and I'm as old as the internet itself. So when MMOs first came out, it just rocked our world. And believe it or not, everyone was actually nice to each other. We were just shocked that we were talking to a real person. MMOs are a little bit different now, a little more toxic and a lot more pay to win. So we thought we'd help you guys out with a list of the 10 best ones for this year. The first game on our list is Heartwood Online, a 2D MMO RPG action game. Within Heartwood Online, players can explore a vast and richly detailed world teeming with adventure and exploration. Players can collaborate with others to confront formidable raid bosses, uncover hidden treasures, and unlock new abilities and powers. The game offers a diverse range of activities, including crafting, PvP and PvE battles, guild interactions, and participation in a thriving player-driven economy. One of the key features of Heartwood Online is its expansive selection of mounts, allowing players to traverse the world with speed and style. Crafting and gathering play a significant role in Heartwood Online, with a variety of skills available to master, including mining, blacksmithing, woodcutting, carpentry, carpentry, tailoring, and leather working. Players can customize their equipment to suit their preferred build path, whether they specialize in melee, magic, or ranged combat. Players can also participate in PvP events, competing against others for rewards and bounties. The second game on our list is Moco, an upcoming game by Supercell, the studio's monster hunting entry into the popular genre. The main task is to hunt for unique creatures in the wild, but the challenge lies in facing these creatures head on, serving as the ultimate test of strength and skill. Skill. One distinctive feature that sets Mo.co apart is its embrace of open world hunting. Players are granted the freedom to roam expansive landscapes, providing an immersive experience as they search for creatures to engage in battle. Adding an extra layer of excitement to the gameplay, Mo.co introduces dungeon raids. These daring missions plunge players into perilous environments, demanding strategic thinking and combat prowess. Navigating through these challenging dungeons becomes a thrilling aspect of the game, promising valuable rewards for those who dare to face the dangers within. The bonus game in this video is Dragon Raja, a world-class MMORPG that continues to push the boundaries of mobile gaming. Powered by Unreal Engine 4, Dragon Raja offers stunning graphics and an immersive open-world experience, seamlessly integrating iconic landmarks from around the world into its captivating storyline. With comprehensive character customization and a compelling narrative, players can shape their destinies in the battle against the returning Dragon Lord. In celebration of their fourth anniversary yesterday, they released a huge new update debuting the new Elementalist class. The Elementalist class introduces strategic gameplay with four main skills, each corresponding to the elements fire, water, earth, and wind, and an ultimate skill which has four different outcomes based on which two elements you choose to combine to make it. I love it when games do stuff like this because it lets me choose what I think will be most strategic in that situation. In addition to the new class, the sports meet has begun so you and your fellow classmates can head over to the Cassell College to complete the tasks for rewards. There are also a lot of mini games going on this month and the game is giving out a lot of in-game bonuses this month just for logging each day. So this is an incredible update from a long-standing game. If you are at all interested in an MMO like this, now would be the time to check it out. I have put links to this game in the description and pinned comments of this video and links to some of the game's official communities. There is a huge gaming community built around this classic and you can get rewards for just being part of it. The third game on our list is Juicy Realm, a roguelite experience where players find themselves immersed in a future where monstrous fruit reigns supreme. In this world, plants have ascended to the top of the food chain, leaving humanity scrambling for survival against their formidable foes. As a player, you embark on a perilous journey deep into the heart of the plant empire, where you'll face relentless waves of deadly fruit at every turn. Armed with an array of weapons, your task is to fend off these fruity adversaries while scavenging 
looking for valuable resources and gear to aid in your fight. Each encounter poses a new challenge, requiring quick reflexes and strategic thinking to overcome. At the heart of Juicy Realm lies the choice of character, with nine distinct options available, each with their own unique abilities and traits. This diversity allows players to tailor their playstyle to suit their preferences, adding depth and variety to the gameplay experience. The fourth game on our list is Warframe Mobile, the port of the popular sci-fi MMO third-person shooter. At the core of Warframe Mobile is a dynamic gameplay loop where players embark on missions, level up, and amass an arsenal of new weapons and gear. The thrill of completing objectives and overcoming challenges is complemented by cooperative missions where players unite to strategize and confront enemies as a cohesive team. A standout feature is the game's robust crafting system, empowering players to craft new weapons and equipment using resources gathered during missions. This adds a strategic layer, encouraging resourceful exploration and customization of loadouts to tackle diverse missions and challenges. Warframe Mobile is poised to deliver the same fast-paced, action-packed gameplay that has enamored fans of the original, all while introducing mobile-specific features for an optimized gaming experience. The fifth game on our list is Adventure Quest 3D, modern reimagining of the original web browser game. Set in a perilous era within the Adventure Quest timeline, players are summoned to the legendary town of Badalant to confront a mysterious new threat looming over the world. One of the standout features of the game is its constantly expanding world, with the development team actively introducing new game features, areas, monsters, and character classes. The game offers players the flexibility to collect, rank up, and switch between classes at any time, allowing for diverse gameplay experiences. Additionally, players can transform into various travel forms, eliminating the need for traditional mounts. Real-time combat adds an extra layer of excitement to the gameplay experience, while pets provide players with loyal companions to accompany them on their adventures. The sixth game on our list is Ion 2. This is a game that I had hoped would be at the top for last year, and had to put it on here again, because I am particularly intrigued by how they are advertising the PvP in this game. Apparently, PvP fights can shift mid-fight from land to air, since all of the characters can fly, and maybe even to the sea. This amount of freedom given to PvP for a mobile MMO is unprecedented, and I think if they can pull it off well, it will attract a lot of serious players to this game. Now that being said, I am a little worried about how they will implement the flying mechanics to their game, because I have yet to experience an MMO on the phone that is able to capture the feel of flying in a satisfying way. Nevertheless, I think their commitment to these new elements of gaming will pay off for them in the end. The seventh game on our list is Avatar Reckoning, an eagerly anticipated mobile shooter set in the expansive and visually stunning universe of the Avatar movie franchise. Within this game, you'll be playing as an avatar yourself who can be customized and leveled up to become your own unique character. Avatar Reckoning unfolds against the backdrop of a narrative that immerses players in the struggle to defend their land from the militant RDA forces. This dynamic storyline provides players with a rich gaming experience, seamlessly blending PvP events and PvE challenges. The inclusion of a single player story mode ensures that players can delve into the narrative depth of the Avatar universe, while co-op game modes open avenues for collaborative play. As you can tell, this game is quite loaded with content, so Avatar fans will not be left starved for more content related to this fantastic sci-fi world. Story-wise, this game acts as a sort of fan sequel to the first movie. It isn't directly related to many of the events, though there may be appearances from fan-favorite characters, but think of Reckoning as its own thing. The eighth game on our list is Auroria, previously known as Project Stars, which was originally called Outerland. Auroria takes you on an extraordinary space survival adventure, immersing you in a perfect sandbox experience. The game's immense potential has garnered significant attention, leading to its acquisition by Tencent, who now spearheads the project. Now this game still has a lot of work. When I played it in its second closed beta, I said it might be the buggiest game I have ever played. In the true fashion of survival games, Aurora embarks players on a mission to gather resources and construct their bases upon landing their spaceships. The game's solar system boasts an impressive array of five distinct planets types, including an intriguing underwater planet, hinting at the developer's vision of seamlessly blending PvE and PvP encounters. However, Auroria doesn't stop there. Almost every animal in the game can be tamed and used as a mount, adding a fascinating layer of interaction with the environment. The ninth game on our list is Ashfall, NetEase's new post-apocalyptic shooter, and in typical NetEase fashion, instead of just making a Fallout mobile, thus incurring the wrath of Fallout fans, they are essentially making their own semi-unique 
mobile version of the game. The graphics and gameplay look awesome, and the game looks more and more like a AAA title, to the point that they have even hired the same music producer, Einon Zur, as that of Fallout. But more impressively, they've also hired Hans Zimmer, who is one of the most famous music directors in the entire music industry. Also, there aren't a lot of good post-apocalyptic games for the mobile phone right now, meaning that this game will have its own niche in the gaming market. Fallout is a huge franchise, largely because it is the best of the post-apocalyptic genre, so if NetEase spares no expense at doing this with Ashfall, I have no doubt it will do amazing this year. The tenth game on our list is Undawn, where players take on the role of survivors and must work together to build their base, scavenge for resources, and defend against hordes of zombies and other players. One of the unique features of Undawn is its open world gameplay. Players are free to explore the vast world, which is filled with dangers and hidden treasures. Undawn also offers a robust crafting system, allowing players to create their own weapons and tools to help them survive. The game also includes a skill system where players can develop their character's abilities to better suit their playstyle. In addition to the single player experience, Undawn also offers a multiplayer mode where players can team up with friends to take on more difficult challenges. The game also features PvP combat where players can battle it out for resources and territory. Well, that's it guys, hope that helps. If a game is not on here that you think should be on here, it is probably because I put it in a different genre, like perhaps adventure game or RPGs. In reality, MMOs can bleed into so many other categories, so I might have put them in another video. Most of those videos are already out, and you can see them in this playlist. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.